Hello friends, welcome back to Touch to Technology channel. Let us start this session Linux Server Hardening. So, what is the hardening? So, hardening stands for deploying and implementing the security measures, and the best practice is a no hardening. So, hardening is a continuous process and understanding the security risk and taking the appropriate step to counter them. The process is dynamic because threats and the system they target are continuously evolving. So why are you here? Computer security has become increasingly important. Two major approaches can be recognized in the computer security, reactive and proactive. The reactive approach is involved in the disaster recovery plan, eliminating the thread, switching the alternate systems, attack surface analysis, investigation, recommendation of the compromised system. The proactive approach consists of any action to reduce the risk of damage or compromise to be able to migrate the consequence of the possible attacks and assets to risk must be recognized prior to the attack. To properly implement security guidance, targets computer need to be handed and continuously monitored during their life cycle. The major focus of the work is a commanded compliance audit in the large infrastructure deployment using the open source software. The objective is the enable user to perform the security audit on multiple remote system from a single centralized environment. Linux hardening checklist. So let's discuss the checklist. These are the services and accent and command. So in case you have built a new service, so now you enable the audit service. So by using system CTL enable audited. So these are the services need to be enabled. Some services should be disabled and these are the command. So chroni service for using network time protocol service need to be installed. If you have bind service, just remove the bind service. Firewall service should be enabled by using system CTL enable firewall D. DHCP should be disabled. Cron tab should be enabled. FTP service in case you are not using to please remove this FTP service. So that is depend on the environment requirement. So these are the checklists need to be followed. So these are the example. So understanding the actually what we have to do. Secure the BIOS. Set supervisor's command. After the installation, disable the booting from the floppy or CD-ROM drive. Create separate file system partition. Like that root slash boot usl where home opt or temp it's depend on the environment configure the correct safe file system so these are the recommendations if your partitioning system required a swap memory or partition that is the larger than 2 gb you should create a an additional swap partition. For example, if you are needed 4 GB of the swap, you should create 2, 2 GB swap partition. If you have 4 GB of RAM, you should create 3 2 GB swap partition. And the Red Hat 
enterprise Linux support up to be 32 SWIFT files. Passwords would be encrypted. These are the encryption technology. These are the encryption methodology. MD5 password disabled the non essential user account. Weak system UMask should be used. The default UMask can be changed by putting the command that is UMask entry in the etc base rc file. Enable the password policy. So for example, just you added the login in def file under the etc. So set minimum password length is 8. Set password expiry to 45 days maximum. Mean is 7 and warning is 14. And also you enable the login banner in the machine by using or creating or modify the slash etc issue slash etc issue.net or slash etc motd file. Please do not use duplicate root UID. Use the following command to check it. Disable the room boot access through the root account and also disable the CTRL plus ALT plus del command. Edit etc in tab file and the comment the following line and after save just to restart the init service disable the none essential service by using following command enable the system audit vi slash etc syslog.config under this file you just put the following parameters disable the unused port so first you check netstat hyphen tul np so t for showing the open tcp port u for udp port l for listening and for network ip address p for p for showing the process name so most important after OS installation, you just install the latest antivirus software. Time to time, updating the software with the latest patches and release. Configure the NTP service. Implement the backup and restore policy. Security compliance with OpenSCAP. Automatically find the vulnerabilities and configuration issue of your infrastructure. So introduction of OpenSCAP. What is the open SCAP? SCAP stands for Security Content Automation Protocol. SCAP is a centralized compliance checking solution. It is the line of specification maintained by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, for maintaining system security for IT system. Open SCAP is the open source implementation. The following are the option to generate the report. So we are using two method XCCDF that is used for security policies. OVAL that is for open vulnerability assessment, vulnerabilities and patch detection. Thank you for watching this video. If you doubt, please comment me.